Hello, Gamer Gnome is back. So for today's video, we are going to help this level 1 noob with the Paw Fruit reach max level. But before we start, you can show your support by using Star Cold Gamer Gnome when purchasing your Robux. With the Ector Slam! Oh, there it is! Forward. There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay, so let's start first off with our first kill, the Heavy Paw. Let's try it with the Bandits. You only need 3 hits as long as you lure it properly, you will defeat one set. Okay, goal here is level 10. Let's make this fast. Let me show you our stats. 14 melee, blast fruits 15. This is important because on our next island, the Fountain City, you're gonna use your left clicks to damage the Galley Pirates. Don't worry, you will not be damaged as long as there is a wall in front of you. And also, don't forget to use your Z skill, Paw Fruit, to last hit your enemy. You will level up here really fast. And the goal here is level 55. Next island is the Pirate Village and our target is Bobby the Clown. We're going to use our Z skill to damage him. And by the way, we've already unlocked our F skill, the Self Repel. You can say that this is the cousin of Soru, or Ghastly Step of the Dark Fruit. We are going to do Server Hop here until you reach level 75. Okay, let's check our stats. Melee 50, defense 30, blocks force 145. Next area is the desert. Take note that we skip the desert bandit quest and go straight with the desert officers. So guys, the same strategy. Lure 4 at the time. Use your Z skill to defeat them. Tips, just go on top of the house. There you go, they cannot hit you there. You're gonna leave this area at level 90. Next island, the frozen village. So here, you're gonna go straight to the cave and buy the sky jump, the enhancement, and the flash step. For the grinding part, we're gonna start with the snow bandits. Same with the desert officers, just jump on high ground and use your Z skill to defeat them. You need to defeat 7 bandits per quest and your goal here is to reach level 105. The Yeti at 105, so technique here, use your Z skill and your F skill, self repel, to dodge him when he gets near. Okay, you're just gonna repeat that, Z skill, F skill, and that's it. Usually, I'm gonna grind here, do server hop until I reach level 130, but we need mastery. That's why we're gonna leave here, level 120, stat check, melee defense, 50, blast fruits to 60. Next area is the marine fortress. So here, our target is a petty officers. Yep, guys, you can use your F skill here or Soru, and then just jump Z skill, okay? Or you can just dodge them, run, jump, use your Z skill. Don't worry, you only need to do 10 levels here. Okay, so after that, Vice Admiral, my technique here is lure him outside the left side of the fortress and use your Z skill. Check this out, no damage, very easy. You're gonna do server hop here guys, okay? You're going to unlock your Po Barrage, X skill which will make things faster. Guys, again, server hop here, target level is 220. Next island is the prison, so you have three enemies here. The Warden at 220, Chief Warden at 230, Swan at 240. This is the way how you defeat the Warden, just lure him here. Wall Strat, okay? Use your Z and X skill and that's it. Same with the Chief Warden, Wall Strat again. There you go, Z and X skill. For this one, it's the same, but you need to create more distance. If you want to avoid getting hit by his string attacks. You're gonna grind here until 350 for the stats. Melee 150, defense 150, block fruit 750. Next island is the Magma Village and we're gonna attack the Magma Admiral. For the damage, we're gonna use the Z and X skill and Zoru or F self repel skill to dodge his skills. And again, we're gonna do server hop until you reach level 425. But in our case, we reach level 426, which is fine. And for our stats, melee defense 200, blood fruits 878. Next stop, the underwater city. So here, our target is the Fishman Lord. So guys, one of the easiest boss to defeat. Just lure him here in the window, and that's it. Use your Z and X skill to defeat him. Very easy. Guys, notice that we've been doing server hop each and every time we're fighting a boss. We're going to leave this area at level 500, but in our case, we reached level 501, but that's fine. Next island is the Skylands, going higher, the upper yard. Target is Whisper. First, you need to lure him in this rock, and that's it, guys. He cannot hit you here. Again, server hop, this is a boss. There you go. We're gonna grind here until you reach level 575. Oh, guys, we got the bazooka, one of the best guns in the game so there you go guys at 575 next up the thunder god same strategy zx for the damage f skill and r soru to dodge his skills or create distance by the way we're gonna unlock our fourth skill the c skill the paw nuke there you go another damage skill and this can damage multiple enemies 
Target level is 675, stat check, 315 melee defense, blast fruits 1395. Next island is the Fountain City. So guys, our target here is only the Cyborg. But if you want, you can grind with the Galley Pirates. Just take note that we're gonna grind here until you reach level 775 guys. Again, 775. And after that, we are heading towards the second sea. Again guys, we skip the raiders and the mercenaries. Why gamer no? Guys, they're so far apart. Which means we're gonna start with the swan pirates. We also skip the diamond quest. So let's go guys. First, you can lure 4 or 5 of the swan pirates. Use your Z. Heal two times, one X skill, and end it up with a Ponyuk, okay? So we're gonna skip lots of quests again until you reach level 925. And after reaching that level, next up, the green zone. We're gonna go straight with Fajita, or Fujitora. By the way, guys, we've unlocked our final skill, the Torture. This is single target with DPS. Check it out. The damage is still adding up after using the V skill. So there you go, guys. Use all your skills and use your F to create distance because this boss has wide range of his skills so guys we're gonna grind here until you reach level 1000 checking our stats melee defense 500 blast fruits 2000 next area is the snow mountain guys we're just gonna target the snow troopers here we're gonna level up 150 times so again two z skills one x skill and, and you're gonna finish it up with a pawn nuke Guys, just a reminder, you can buy the fight style superhuman here, so make sure to buy one. Again, we're gonna leave this area at 1,150. And for our next island, we got the hot and cold. Guys, our target here is Smoke Admiral. Check this out, guys. One Z skill, X, C, and V skill is enough to damage half of its HP. Check it out, 15,000. There you go. So guys, just two sets, and you're gonna defeat the Smoke Admiral. Target level here is 1,250, and after that, next up, the Cursed Ship. So here, we're gonna defeat the ship deckhands. Again, same strategy. Lure 4, use your Z skill twice, 1 X skill, and ended up with a Z skill. Torture is not that effective here because, again, it is only single target. 1,300, next set of mobs, the ship stewards. So again, same strategy, guys. From here on, we're gonna do the same trick. 2 Z scales, 1 X, and 1 C to end it. Okay? So at 1350, checking our stats first. Melee 700, defense 1050, blood fruits max. Next island is the Ice Castle. So here, Arctic Warriors is the only target. Yes. Guys, okay, same strategy again and again. Z, X, C, and one more Z to defeat them. At 1400, you're gonna unlock the Ice Admiral quest. Yeah, you can do it, but I don't suggest it, guys. Just focus on the Arctic Warriors until you reach level 1,475. And next up, the Forgotten Island. So here, Tide Keeper is the boss. Gamernome, are we gonna do server hop here? Yes. Technique, just lure him here in this rock. He will come towards you every time he goes back to his starting point or spawn point. With that strategy, he won't summon his Sea Beast. Sometimes he summons it, but rarely. So again, that's it for our strategy. Keep on defeating this boss until you reach level 1500. Make sure to do the Colosseum quest, fight Indra, after that he will send you to the cafe, head to the green zone, and there you go guys! Look for Mr. Captain, welcome to the third sea, alright! So when I enter the third sea, it's kinda laggy, check it out, the NPC is not yet loading. Where's my badge, please show it to us, oh, there you go, target here is the pirate millionaires. Guys, you're just gonna fight this mob here, only this mob. We're gonna skip the billionaires and the smoke. And to defeat this mob again, 1x, 2z skills, 1 ponyuk. If you hit your enemy properly, that will be enough. But if someone still lives, you can use your torture to defeat that mob, okay? So you're gonna leave this area at level 1675. Checking our stats, melee 800, defense 1925, max blast fruits. Next island is a Hydra Island. We're gonna go straight with the Island Empress. And the technique here is a wall strat. Yes, lure her inside, then dash outside, and that's it. Let's create distance to avoid getting hit. Don't worry, your Z, X skill, C skill, and V skill will still hit the Island Empress, which will make your grinding faster. Yes, guys, we're gonna server up until you reach level 1750. 
So let's check our stats first. Luxfoot's max, melee 800, defense to 150. Next island is the Great Tree. Another boss is our target, the Kilo Admiral. So guys, use your skills, okay? Lure her, go on top of this rock, and that's it. You can use all your skills to damage your Z skill, X skill, the worry, V skill, and C skill, okay? So again, just keep on doing that. Server Hop is our friend. You're gonna do this until you reach level 1800. Next island is a floating turtle. So here, our only target is a fishman captain. Actually, we have uh, two targets here, only two mobs, okay? First is a fishman captain, double Z, 1X, and C skill. There you go. And when you reach level 1825, yes, that's our target. The forest pirates. Guys, why? Because this is the easiest mob here. I'm gonna show you why. You're gonna lure 4 and jump here on this house and do a wall strat. Guys, the other mobs, we will skip them until you reach level 1975. Guys, believe me, this is the fastest and easiest way to grind. So for our stats at 1,975, blocks fruits max, defense max, and all stats in the melee, okay? Second to the last island, the Hunted Castle. So we're gonna target the Reborn Skeletons here, only the Reborn Skeletons. So guys, you know our combo. Make sure to do that. Target level here is 2,075 for the stats. Max Black fruits, max defense. Melee 1625. Final island, guys, the Sea of Treats. So we're gonna target the Peanut Scouts here. Only the Peanut Scouts. Why? They're near the Quest Giver. They spawn really, really fast. You're gonna tell me, Gamer Nom, how about the mob in the final uh, part of this island, the Sea of Treats? The final one, the Cookie Crafter, right? Yeah, it's maybe Cookie Crafter, guys. They're near the Quest Giver, right? They're also near to each other, but, guys. The spawn time is really long compared to this mob, so I suggest just stay here until you reach max level. Okay guys, I hope that's clear. And as a bonus, I will defeat Big Mom, Cake Mom, Solo 1 on 1. So is that possible Gamer Room? Yes. With the Paw Fruit. So my technique here guys, I just sped it up, okay? Just use your Q, right dash, to go sideways. Check my HP. It's rarely damaged. The only uh, attack that damages me is the one with the flame. So guys, here it is. So use your all your skills, right? Again, use your self repel, F skills, sideways. Also your dash, and that's it. That's the one that damages me. But I can uh, regenerate it with the proper stats. Enough is energy. So there you go. Okay, guys. So guys, this is about to end. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Paw fruit want to max to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters. I really appreciate you all. This is Gamer Nom and Gamer Nom out.